<clears throat> okay hello there beauties your girl Eunice Marie here and today I'm going to be doing a demo and review in clay powder looks like this by now um, I got this in a Vitacost haul and so I want to go ahead and demo this and show you guys how I use it and give you all the details on the benefits and everything of that sort um, I got mine from Vitacost.com for about four dollars and eighty nine cents I believe very inexpensive and this is a um, six ounce so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I make this and then we're going to get into all the benefits and everything of that sort now on the back of it it does have the instructions or how much to use you're supposed to mix one tablespoon um, of this with one tablespoon of water um, and you can add coconut oil of your choice instead of water if you choose I've seen some people use vinegar um, instead of water so it's just up to you on how you want to use this use this for me I'm just going to be using straight water okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and start now I don't really measure it out um, I've used this a couple of times already and I just kind of eyeball it I kind of know what um, how much I need to use now the thing about this is that you want to be careful not to use too much because you can make too much and then um, you won't use it all on your face so I just take out a little scoop like this <laughs> and I just put it in here and I'm telling you guys like a little bit of this goes a long way and then I just have a cup of water so I'm not gonna actually pour this in here I'm just gonna take my spoon and gather out well pull out some water and pour it in there like this then I'm gonna take my brush this is a foundation brush but I usually use this for my facials and things of that sort and I'm just gonna mix it together So it, I may need a little bit more because you can see it's just it's really a little. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more into here and some water. And I just continue to add a little bit more um, at a time. I don't just add a whole lot. You want to just add a little bit at a time. So if you need a little bit more, if you feel like it's too thick, then you add more water. If you feel like it's too thin, then you add more powder. But do it little by little because you can end up making way too much of this. And then, yeah. So I like to use it all in one setting. And I think that even this is maybe a little bit too much for my face. But um, just keep that in mind when you're working with this, like just do little by little. And so this is the right consistency um, for me. It's not too thick, not too thin. It's just like a very um, medium, medium consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this to my face. All right. So um, I make sure to have a clean face. I cleaned or washed my face with Dr. Bronner's tea tree soap so I make sure that my face is thoroughly cleansed before I apply this mask 100% um, pure it is a facial detox um, mask it is for most skin types so it's for oily skin it's for um, dry skin it's for combination skin the, the only thing is that if you have dry skin instead of using water you might want to use a oil like coconut oil or jojoba oil and for oily skin like mine you can just add water which I just did and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply this to my entire face and then I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes or until it thoroughly dries and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys more about this product
All right, so that is the mask applied. Um, it's a little splotchy. Um, I try to make sure that it's not like splotchy. It's all kind of like even. Um, just to make sure that everything gets covered. But this is a mask on my face, so I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes until it dries. And... After 15 minutes, I go ahead and I use a washcloth with warm water and I remove the mask. All right, <clears throat> so like you guys can see, I do have some left in here, which is not too much, but there is something left in here. So like I was saying before, you might want to be careful with how much you put in there and really just be careful with the measurement so that you don't end up having too much left over. Um, also, when you're wearing the mask, what I like about it is that you can feel the slight like pull, like as it's like drawing out the impurities or the oil in the skin, and that I really like about this mask, as well as it doesn't irritate my skin. So I can use this mask probably two times a week and be perfectly fine with it, and I don't feel like it'll be overdoing it, um, especially when I'm having my breakouts. But I've been using, I use the mask about three times already three three times already and my skin looks amazing from it um so after i do the mask i just go in with coconut oil you guys know how i feel about my coconut oil sorry about the glare on my face um but i'm just gonna go with my coconut oil and take a little bit of that and i'm just gonna use that to moisturize my face and as you guys can see my complexion just is it looks amazing like it's just it's really clear my skin doesn't feel dry out or anything um, it just feels really clean and really clear and that is it that is how I use the mask um, so far so good thumbs up all the way I give this a five if we had to rate it on a scale of five <laughs> I give it five stars it's really really good really inexpensive and it does the job and it's all natural so if you are acne prone dry skin and you're looking for something to detox your skin um definitely go and check out um now's European clay mask and check out my other skincare videos mask acne talk all that fun stuff it will be linked down below as well as in the little drop box above so go ahead and check out all my latest skincare um talks reviews demos and all of that so yes, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye!